This is the shop dog, Luna. Yeah. She's excited about the BMW tonight. We're going to do some work to it. In today's video, since shipping is delayed for whatever reason, and nobody wants to sell Troy's spark plug, all we really can do is the motor mounts that have been sitting for a while. And that way, when we do get it started, the motor doesn't hike up on that one side where it's completely snapped and rotted off. Kevin, I'm oh. rowing. I'm rowing the boat. Row, row, row. Where are those little jacks in there? The little ones right there. Go back and give it a shake test. Give it a shake test. That's good. That's good. That's good. It's not even moving. It's enough. Enough of it. All right. All right. All right. You're a frog, not a dog. Who are you? You're not my fucking dog. <laughs> All right, so now that we got the car jacked up. He jacked the, off the car. The first motor mount we're gonna be doing is right there. Uh, and the second one is right there. Am I in reverse? I am. Hey, you're nice. The stubby provides. This my new toy. My new toy. Here, show it off. Ooh, Here baby. Fuel. Milwaukee. Brand spanking new. Nice, nice fucking battery. Gang gang. Put that over there. And I think the washer is just gonna. Yeah, I think it's just stuck on. Got it. All right. Now let's jack this baby up. We got to undo the other one. Fuck. <laughs> we need a socket. No, I mean we need a ratchet. That was size 17. Size 17 on Tuesday. On fucking Tuesday. Tuesday, dog! <coughs> Shut the fuck up. Ah. Ooh, you join Cap. All the needle bearings are in there. Slip that back on. Yeah. Half of a good D joint. Um, you want it? No. You got this big old fucker. Stick that on there. Stick this one like in between. This is gonna be a direct way right to the fucking bottom of this. Oh, another, another happy. Uh, there might be enough slop in this to where we might be able to swing it around. I don't know where my swivel went. That kind of sucks. This is what she's telling you not to worry about. Yeah. You can go, see it. I go right here. Nope. Go right from here. You got me down. I think I'm right on top of it, bro. Yeah, I am. I don't know if you're actually on it, on it, but like well, you're. I know I'm hitting the motor now. Yeah. So. I don't know if I can do this and film at the same time. Lift it up. Nope, I lost, I lost support of it. I don't know if this socket's gonna work. Hold on, hold on, don't move it. I'm on it, give me that drill. Give me the drill? All right, give her hell. As the whole motor is just gonna fucking fall out of the vehicle. All right, ready? Yes, sir. No, this is awkward. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. uh, I'm on this episode of Hot Rod Garage. I am not on the bolt, but we're gonna give it a try. <laughs> we were able to get both the nuts off of that one. We got the singular nut off of that one because that one sheared off, so the other side of it will just kind of slip right off. And now we're gonna jack it up and see what type of commotion we can cause. Not a great way to uh, jack the motor up is by the AC compressor. Uh, we did this once already to kind of mess with the oil pan when we were installing it, so uh, we're going to give it a whirl again. Yeah, round, round two, I, I guess. And in a future video, we will be removing the AC compressor and the condenser and everything inside the vehicle. Because race car. Because race car and it doesn't work at the moment, so I don't feel like making it work. Yeah, I think what's happening is because we're lifting it all up on one side. 
it's just gonna rock the motor this way. We're never gonna be able to get it up. So we gotta find a way to jack up this side of the motor. Yep. So might as well get busy on this side. So Sorry, ew. Uh, that top of the stud is uh, it's still in. There. We have to get to it. Yeah, we have to probably throw throw an impact on there and just wiggle it out. But we'll lift it up high enough to where we can drop the new one in. I think it's lifting up on this side now. Think so? We just gotta be careful. Like, I'm seeing the whole fucking motor move. Yeah, but we need to be able to lift it. No, it's not out. free. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Let me see how this one is. And this is where I'm gonna lose my fingers. Oh, yeah, look at that fucking gap. Yeah, that's gonna be fun to pop out. So the one, the guide pin goes on the bottom, just so we know. All right. Like the other thing was just looks like a hockey puck. Yeah, the way it was just the top of the motor, the actual physical motor mount was just slapping the shit out of this. Yeah. No good. Yeah, we're gonna have to get an impact on that and break that off. All right. Clear out that hole. Bill Seen Shocks, please sponsor me. Toyo Tires, please sponsor me. Back. Oh, I know what's going on. The rubber. The stud goes into the rubber and yeah. stops. And where it broke off is at the bottom of where the stud stops in the rubber. So in theory, we gotta burn it out. Fire extinguisher, I got one in the behind, behind the seat of my van. Yeah, uh, close enough. Yeah. Uh, also, it's over. Yeah, we also have all these liquids. Yeah. All the, they're not all flammable. Can you get a pair of pliers on that? Maybe you can wiggle it out, right? Nope, I can't out. even put my fucking face near it. No, these aren't going to be good on these. You know what it is? It's like a fucking rivet or a stud. I mean, keep going. Maybe it'll walk out. Oh, I got a grip on it. Yeah! Fuck yeah! Hold on. I think you just hold it with your hand. Uh, it's probably hot. Put a lot of heat on that. Yeah, there it goes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got Now we have it a little more loose. I can slip the jaw underneath and I can walk, actually lock it. Give me a Stop moving it. Here. <laughs> Keep moving it? Lean it my way. Lean it my way. Yes. Keep it right there. Don't fucking move it. Don't fucking move it. I'm going to have a little bite it again. Do you want a flathead? No. I just want you to do the beans. Oh, you have it? Yeah. Look at that little heat. It said, hasta la vista. Nope, I gotta just... Let's check the energy. Oh, maybe it's hot. Oh, no, it's hot. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. All right, it's off. Sweet. I don't know where it is, but... Oh, I see it. Oh. It's too hot for me to grab. All right. So we just got the uh, the rest of the motor mount out, and what you can see is that it separate the top plate of it separated from the rest of the motor mount. So it was a little challenging to get out. We had to put some heat to it and uh, just get it kind of loose, and then that way we were able to kind of pry it between the actual motor mount and the bushing, the top of the bushing, and put the vice grips on it and back out the bolt. Oh, tits, man! It looks so good now. So what we're doing now is we're getting ready to put the new motor mount in. I'm just going to take a wire brush real quick and just clean off the mating surfaces so no corrosion and crud are into the motor mount and the uh, bushing itself. I'll let you, the viewer, decide if I got this good enough because uh, I can't see it. So I'm going to keep going back and forth until I think it's good. I got to angle it basically so it lines up the hole. Uh -huh. I got to keep my hands in there. Alright, let me know when you're ready. Alright, I'm just going to keep my hands clear, fingers clear. Uh, go ahead and bring it out ever so slowly. Yep, this is full control now. Just kind of lining up the motor now. Alright, my hands free, and you can just let the motor Send it home. Send it home. Beautiful, look at that. Nice. Alright, can we get the jack out of the way? Sweet deal. How are we going to get this one good and tight? Great to God, we'll get it tight. 
Here, hardware, please. You got a new washer? Uh, I don't know where the other one went, and this one looks good. Uh, let me get that brush and we'll clean that card off too. It's the same as before. Scrub this uh, as best we can clean. There's no way we're going to be able to get this. Yeah, we're, I'm just trying to get it. I mean, we'll just have to get it as tight as possible. This is going to be with little quarter turns. That's probably why it's sheared off. Got a little loose and bounced around. Or it's really fucking old. Without no other real way of uh, getting this up, I think what we're going to do is we're going to stick this motor mount here of the old one. And we're going to try elevating the motor high enough to replace the bushing for the motor mounts in between the power steering pump. Um, if, I don't like how that's going to teeter. Yeah, I don't so like that. That was a quick thinking idea, experimental idea, but it didn't really seem to work out well. Right, so we're right here on it. Slight, oh, slight push. I think it's going to bend. You think it's going to bend? What do you guys think? This makes me uncomfortable. Me too. It's taking it like a champ. Okay. Stay tuned. We're going to need a new power steering pump. <laughs> and a new oil pan. I think we have enough space now. You won't believe this, Harley. This one's the same way. What is this motor mount pushing? Snap? Yeah, oh, I think oh. it just fell. Oh, well, that one fell with these. Oh, yeah, that one was. Oh, my God. Well. That one's worse. You want to keep pumping, but I guess I got to keep pumping. So, for the viewers at home, do not being, try this. <laughs> it's being held up by that tiny little bracket. Right, right, right there. That's it. That little piece of metal is what's holding up our motor right now. But it's fine. Everything, Everything's fine. We don't have to worry about literally anything. Yeah, this is not the recommended way, but it might be the way. Uh, oh? Yeah, I gotta line this up better. I'm just very, very, very careful. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh? Let me sure we work. Yeah, go up like a cut hair more. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. That's it. Same deal. Uh, I need you to lower this down yep. ever so slowly. And yep. I can line it up and drop it in. All right. So thanks to this little bracket right here, we were able to slap in that motor mount. And thanks to the AC bracket over there, that motor mount, oh, my finger got right there, is in place. And now we were having issues before where the fan was hitting the radiator. But now there's so much clearance because of those new motor mounts. We initially thought it was just the passenger side motor mount that had snapped off. But as we took the driver's side one off, it was even worse. It was completely like hollowed out. This one was just bouncing around. This one actually has a huge divot inside of it. Now, motor's sitting pretty. And hopefully if FedEx can get their shit together, my packages will actually come in the mail. Not a super exciting episode, but one that needs to be done nonetheless. So I'm not going to say it. Every time I say hopefully you'll see it running in the next episode, there's always something that prevents it from running in the next episode. And I will stop saying that. So in the next episode, we will be installing all new spark components. So distributor cap, uh, spark plugs, wires, and something else I ordered. I can't remember the name of it, but that's not important. Because we're degenerates and we stay up late at night working on this immaculate project car. Definitely not, definitely not a home to jump. That doesn't run. But like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. In the next video.